Lumion Legacy is one of the most well-designed games on Roblox, with so much attention to detail and fun mechanics. In Pokemon, there's something called a Nuzlocke to make your game much harder. The rules are that you can only catch the first Pokemon you meet in the route, and if a Pokemon faints, it dies. So I wanted to make my playthrough a bit more interesting, so I decided to do this. I made a new account, and I started a new game. The first thing I did was to get an auto-clicker to avoid the truck of dialogue coming right at me. I named myself a not so creative name and I continued to get a starter. I like to choose one effective against the first gym so I can get a good start. Electric is the first gym and is weak against earth and water, but it's effective against water. So I don't think it's the best choice, but I continue looking. I found out that Electric is weak against plant types, so I decided to choose Thieven as my starter and called it a Pikachu. I go in the back of the lab and find some meds and Lumi discs, and now I'm ready to take on Route 1. So let's see who I get. Come on, let's get a twiddle, please. Okay, fine. Cathorn is decent. It won't help take on the forest, but let's see what I can do with it. I catch it and name it Y to display my disappointment. Route 1 goes on normally, with it being annoying at times because of my Thieven being weak to bug, which makes the move Bug Bite far the more annoying. I walk in the Chesma Town and immediately run to the center to heal. I grab the coffee and the hidden discs and walk into the forest, making me able to catch a new Lumion. No Cunocopia or Prope. Come on, let's go. Twiddle, come on. Out of the many new Lumions possible to catch here, I find the Grubby. Literally just Cathorm 2.0. The upcoming trainers are pretty simple, but what I'm worried about is the Duskit fight. But luckily, he's weak to bug, which I happen to have two Lumions of, except that Duskit is a level 8 and mine are level 5. So I begin grinding for half an hour and Cathorn evolves into Propay, and I'm ready to face Duskit. I decide to use Propay because it has better defense and attack, but sadly not as good speed as Grubby. So let's begin. And it wasn't really that hard. I continue on to Route 2 and murder that one trainer just standing there. And I walk into Route 3, making me finally able to catch another Lumion. Come on, Babor, let's go. Well, you know, it's fine, just that it's not effective at all against the gem. So I caught my Gecklo, named the disappointment, and went through the route. I grind a bit more, and now it's finally time to face the first gym. First, I need to equip a good luck charm and put on the correct face for the job. I use Thievian as my main Lumion because of all the stuff I explained earlier on. I found out that Electric is weak against plant types, so I decided to choose Thievian as my starter. I do the first puzzle by completely guessing how to do it, and then I continuously oof the bacon hair because I just wanted to. I do the second puzzle by still guessing and I commit murder on the second challenger. I guess the last puzzle and face Naya. Her Gecklo immediately paralyzes me because it just felt like it, but I still kill it by spamming Pedal Pummel. Gecklo number 2 took a bit longer to do because of me being paralyzed, which made the moves take longer to do. And at last, her Kleptike. I just spam Pedal Pummel and won. <laughs> so far, one gym badge and no casualties. Next up was the Jake fight in Galvanite Cave. The first Lumion he would send out is an Embit which would logically obliterate my entire team except for Gecklo, so I would have to use him. But still one problem, the Embit is level 14, while mine is level 10. So I grinded up for a bit and was ready to face Jake. I started off by spamming Static Shock in the hopes of it becoming paralyzed, which it did, but only when I had 1 HP left. I also had almost no energy left, so I had to rest, making me very low on health. I was going to heal, but I decided to take the risk to attack because of it being paralyzed. I used Shine, and it landed. I had to switch to Thieving because there's no way I could use a Lumion with such low health anymore. I spammed Petal Pummel while the Gekko constantly used Dodge, but I eventually beat it. Good that I trained. My Thieving also evolved into Felber. Also, I just want to mention, I'm thinking this is becoming a bit too easy now, so I'm adding another rule. Only one med per battle. Naya gave me the shine application, so I was finally able to continue on to Route 4. Now the next fight was against Lucy and Lucas. I was a little afraid until I found out that Bug was effective against two of these Lumions. So I leveled up really into level 12, and I was wrong about the fan cub, so I just used shine for my Gecklo. Now Kleptike is dark, so Bug was effective against it, so I beat it. 
Next was Kabunga, which was also weak against Bug, except that Kabunga is faster than mine, so it was pretty annoying. I just spammed the Bug Bite while the Kabunga spammed Pine Shot, which deals a lot of damage. I lowered it to 1 HP, and I thought that I wouldn't survive another hit, so I healed up and finished it off. Lucas also had a Gekla, which took 1.5 minutes to beat because of using Dodge all the time. Now that I defeated them, I was finally able to catch a new Lumion. I get a Twilat, which is absolute garbage, this won't help me at all, so I put it on the bench. So after that, I just went through all the trainers in the woods until I came across the village, where the man that wants you to get rid of the sluglings are. So I killed a few of them and caught one. Now remember, the rules are that you can only catch a new Lumion when you enter a new area, and the village is a new area, so that's why I was able to catch one. Okay, time continue. I call my slugling not cheating because it's not and I continue on towards Route 5, but I first encountered a girl with a Shachi which almost kills my Concopia, so I just switch to Y and she happens my HP while I get her to 1, so I heal up and she uses Brainwash again and now she's out of energy, so I kill her. That was the closest fight so far. I walk into Route 5 and I encounter a Gumpod. This is the perfect Lumion to get because the next battle feature is Fire and Gumpod is a Water type. I catch him and name him Professional Swimmer. I blast through all the trainers and go help the monk getting attacked, and I walk into the volcano, make me able to catch another one. I get a crate tool, which is just your normal fire type. I get through all the monks with ease, and I get to the final monk, which has level 17 and 18 Lumions. So I train Professional Swimmer up to level 14, which is still under level compared to it, but I think I can do it. I start by using my Concopia to kill the Kabunga, after that I just spam spray until I kill it and then I use my Pikachu to kill the Rekwala. That was way easier than I thought. Next up is the Pagoda where the Ikazum fight takes place. It's both fire and electric which Professional Swimmer is two times effective against, so I level him up to level 18 and I'm ready to face it. I do the puzzle once and I fail, but on my second attempt, it's done, and I'm risking a lot because of me being weak to electric but I'm ready. Ikazun uses Singe, which doesn't deal that much damage to me, and I use Water Bomb, which happens at health. So I use my Water Bomb once again, and Ikazun uses Static Shock, which... Oh, well, I finished Ikazun off with Keklo. I walk back to the center, and I put him in the correct box. What do I do now? I have no type advantage anymore, and four of my seven team members are weak to fire. I have to find a weakness. I look up on the wiki and it turns out the fire moves are weak against light types, which I only have one of, but still another chance. Remember Ratatouille, that one little guy I thought I'd never use? Well it turns out that Twilla can evolve into two different types, either light or dark. Which is perfect, so I grind up Twilla for half an hour, wait 10 minutes until it's day, and evolve Ratatouille into Luxor. It's finally time to face the gym. Also, while I was training, really and why evolved, but I won't be using them. I do the pretty simple puzzle by actually strategizing and I face the first challenger, and Ratatouille obliterates Embit and Raburn by using Lumia's Roar. The second puzzle was harder and took longer to do, but I eventually beat it. The second challenger used dodge so many times I almost ran out of energy. The cradle took even longer to beat because of me having little energy left, so I had to wait and then kill it. And then, it was finally time to face the battle star. But first I had to do the puzzle, which was much easier than the second one, and I was ready to face Akio. I used Lumi's Roar on the Cradle, and I used Swipe after that to finish it off. Except that I left them with 2 HP, which annoyed me so much. The Wisp Pup was also super easy to beat because of it being Spirit, which Light was effective against. And at last, his got Cola. Ratatouille was lacking in energy, so I used his appointment to paralyze him, and then I switched back to Ratatouille to finish it off. And with that, I had the second battle medal. Thank you so much for watching this video, which I had so much fun making, and I also hope you enjoyed it. I didn't include the third battle theater because at the time of making this video, it wasn't out yet. But I'll probably make part 2 if this video gets enough support. Thanks for watching, and goodbye!